By the time you reach the end of this video, you should have a rough overview of what happens when you get one of your wheels refurbed. And you can check it out straight after this. Hey there guys, it's Alan at AM Details here and welcome to our YouTube channel where we bring you car care, detailing, valeting and really a load of car related stuff like this super cool video that's going to be showing you what happened when we got our wheels powder coated. If you think this would be interesting to you, then please do remember guys to subscribe and why not hit the bell notification as well so you get an email every time we drop one of them videos or we go live on YouTube. So why would we do a video like this on the channel? Well, the AM Details Fiesta had a curved wheel and we had to give it back because the lease deal was over. So we found our friends over at SKS and they said it'd be totally cool for us to go in with the camera and film the process and I thought it'd be something that you guys would like to see. Plus, I have no idea what happens when you get your wheel done for painting or powder coating. So for me, it was cool information. So when you guys come in and ask about it, we can pass it on. And for 100% transparency, this is not a paid advert. SKS don't give us any money in the production of this film. So once you've got your alloy wheel, the first step is the alloy wheel needs to get soaked in a strip tank and this is when it gets dipped into the tank and left in there for a period of time so that it can start eating into all your old paint and primer. Step number two. This is once it comes out of there you can imagine all the old paint and primers gungy and kind of melting on there. It goes into a wheel wash tank. This was a super cool bit of kit guys where your wheel goes in here they close it down and then it gets like steam and pure pressure wash and I managed to film a cool little bit of it going once it comes out of there guys, it's then left to the side to dry naturally to room temperature. Step number three. This guys was one of my favourite steps and I couldn't believe they actually let me in there to play with this magical box of tricks and goodies. And it is exactly that guys, your wheel goes into the media blaster, the door is then closed and then a load of media, tiny tiny little microscopic bits of sand or ceramic balls or whatever kind of media they are using are then blasted at the wheels. This then helps to remove any old surface stuff on there and corrosion from the wheel and giving the wheel a nice uniform finish which is perfect for the company to then use for priming. And as you can see here guys we have the comparison between the wheel after it's come out of the dipping tank and the cleaner. You can still see the corrosion in here and all the little bits of nasties. And then we have the one that's been media blasted and you can see it now has a uniform finish. There is no corrosion left on there. And the next step is to look at the damage. Step number four. This guys is damage repair. This is where using hand tools, sandpaper and maybe in some sort of filling agent, the guys will then try and fix any damage that might be on your wheel. A little thing for you though guys, once mine was stripped back, you couldn't see the curved damage at all. So quite a lot of the damage is actually in the paint and doesn't get through to the metal. All it needs is a quick sand and a finish down ready for the powder. Step number five. Now this one is where the magic happens and everyone will have their own way of doing it guys, their own temperatures, their own routine in doing it in, but I'm gonna try and give you an overview of how it's generically done while showing you some cool fancy video. So the basics are guys, you have to get a primer on there. This at SKS is done using a powder and as you can see, it gets sprayed on. Now, something cool happens. The powder is positively charged and as you can see, the bar it is hanging on is negative to earth, thus, when you're spraying the powder, even though it's a dry agent, it's not like a wet paint or anything, it sticks to the wheel due to that charge. And then when you go in the oven, it then, you know, melts, merges into one and primes the wheel. And as I say, everyone will have their own magical way of doing it. But if you imagine, once the primer's on there, it's gonna go in the oven. It's gonna come out the oven, it's gonna check it, they're gonna paint it and or then powder coat it. Then of course, just like the secret sauce, it'll go back in the oven at the decided temperature of the company you are using. It will come back out, be lacquered and then probably go in for a final cook. Then as you can see here, it will be left hung and cool. How nice are these guys? I am super, super chuffed with how my wheels turned out after getting painted at SKS. And in a nutshell, that is it. Your wheel has to get prepped through all the different stages, it then has to get repaired, it then gets primed, painted slash powder coated, cooked, lacquered, done. And you are left with a wheel. And as I said at the beginning guys, this is not a paid advert. It was just SKS allowed me to go in and film. So as a nice little thank you to them for hooking me up with the wheel and allowing me to film, I just wanted to go over a couple of reasons that I used them and what I liked about their company. Once I messaged SKS, they were super fast to respond and said, just bring the car down. We will handle everything else. How cool is that? So you just drop your car off and they will handle the whole process. 
Once the wheels were off, they then safely removed the tyres, removed the cool little sensor that I didn't even know what was in there, and left it all in the wheel's dedicated own little zone, so I knew all the same stuff was going back on. They then of course refitted my tyres to the wheels, and balanced them to zero. Apparently there's a regulation out there that allows you to go 0.5 of a gram or 5 grams or something like that either way, but once it was at that point they then went further and put an extra one to try and get it as close to zero as possible. And then of course they refitted the wheels and torqued them for me. It really was a drop off and pick off service and we were super, super chuffed. So for that simplicity, that ease of just being able to drop and pick up, plus the standard that they left my wheels in, I was super happy to pay the price. And you can get their information guys down below in the description and you can check them out. They're just outside of Elgin in a little place called Fogwalk. So I hope you found this style of video informative. I thought it was super cool to do it was something new for me and shooting this style of video is definitely something else that is new and I hope you guys are liking it. If you are and you want to see more content like this then please do remember put it in the description down below and we'll try our hardest to go and get it and film it for you. If it's your first time here guys and you've enjoyed this kind of content then over here you will see a circle with our logo on it. You can click it to subscribe. And why not hit the bell notification as well so you get an email every time we drop a video or we go live. And over here will be two videos chosen just for you. Ciao!